Hey guys, are you ready for your story? Tonight I found a little friend, the hungry little caterpillar. And we're reading a book, actually, about the hungry little caterpillar. So I hope you enjoy tonight's story. Let's get into it. So say your prayers, get tucked in, and if you have the book, read along. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Garl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on the leaves. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Saturday, he ate a piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through a one, one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called the cocoon, this brown thing, around himself. He stayed inside for two more weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly. Did you like tonight's story? That's what happens to caterpillars. They turn into beautiful butterflies or moths. Just like one day, you'll go from being little, like he did, like a little teeny tiny caterpillar. You'll go from being a small little boy or little girl, and you grow up to be a mom, a dad, an aunt, maybe president of, of where you're at. You never know, but you're growing every day. So don't get discouraged if you find that there are things you can't do right now. You'll be able to do them. I hope you enjoyed tonight's story. I hope you have sweet dreams. I hope you said your, your prayers. Make sure that you say a prayer for everybody. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the story. And I hope you know that Grandma loves you. Till the next story. Good night.